One of our site members, Annie Martin, has volunteered to start adding a few announcements to the new marketing section of our SharePoint team site. Remember that site members by default can view, add, update, and delete information on any list. And there's, of course, going to be more than one way to do things. Let's start by clicking Add New Announcement. Here, Annie would just type in the required field, which is the title. Of course, information can be added to the body. A lot of people prefer to write the information elsewhere, such as Microsoft Word or WordPerfect, as SharePoint still doesn't have a spell check built into it. So we've done that already, and we're going to just click Control V and paste in our content. This does, however, feel like a very small version of a word processor. You have common commands here, such as undo. You can insert tables. You can change the font or the font size and then apply other common attributes, such as bold, italic, underline, alignment features, bullets or numbers. And you can change things like indents and use colored text or highlighters. You can experiment more with this on your own. At this point, we can click OK or add an expiration date. The expiration date will ensure that this announcement isn't displayed after the expired date. Then we'll click OK. That's all there is to adding an announcement. If changes need to be made to the announcement, there's two ways to do it. You can either click on the announcement name e-newsletter is announced in this case, or simply click on the name of the list, Announcements. Then hesitate or hover the mouse over the announcement that you'd like to change and click on the drop-down arrow. And here the obvious choices are Delete or Edit. Let's click Edit here. And then simply make your change. And then click OK again. To return to the site's main page, click on the site name in the breadcrumb navigation or on the site's tab in the top link bar.